Hey guys, welcome to another Game Tech Super 7 video, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about what just happened at Google I.O. 2014 Keynote. So the first and most exciting thing that was released was Android L, the developer preview. There's a huge radical visual change in this version of Android, and it is really pretty, I will say that. This new material design that they were talking about features a lot of bold colors, a lot of three-dimensional effects, a lot of awesome animations, and it's going to be the same UI experience on every device for that app or website. Um, they showed how they would change the Gmail app on Android, as you can see right there. Uh, it's really cool, it's really clean, I really like the colors, and as you can see here, the material support, three-dimensional stuff, animations, it really looks a complete visual change, and it really looks complete, and I really like how it looks. Uh, the, the multitasking is also changed to look really nice. Instead of just your normal list of things, you have a tab to three-dimensional view. And your Chrome tabs are also shown now. Art is now the default runtime on Android L. So your Android's going to be way faster. And it's actually 64-bit, so a lot more memory holdability. It's not much use right now, but it will be down the line in a few years. Another new feature in Android that was really appreciated was Battery Saver. When you're beneath 15% or even anywhere, you can enable Battery Saver to get a couple more hours out of your battery. Next, we're going to be talking about Android Wear. It's a pretty big news, pretty anticipated, and it definitely lived up to the hype. So Android Wear is going to be the LG G Watch. There's a Samsung one and the Moto 360. The LG G Watch releases later today, actually. And it shows all your Google Now information, how many steps you've taken, some can show your heart rate, and it's really beautiful, really seamless. All these different swipes, to swipe to the right to get more details, you can swipe down for your next cards, and it really just looks like a complete operating system on a, on a watch. You can control your phone with it, you can do all, you can play music on your phone obviously with and any apps you have on your phone will be having a watch version for your smartwatch and it has awesome features like checking into a place and stuff like that that you can do on your watch as well as your phone um, and they also released Android Auto to put Android in your car what you do is plug in your phone and that phone will automatically have the Android Auto on your car so if you have a bad phone it's likely that you're going to have a bad experience. But with the Nexus 5, this is how it looks. Completely voice activated, no touch needed. You also have your Google Now cards, Google Maps, and music. That was the big emphasis there. They also mentioned they were going to be working with various partners such as Honda, Audi, Hyundai, a lot of famous ones like Nissan and stuff, to bring this Android Auto to most cars on the road. And they said by the end of this year, every car made by these partners should be compatible with Android Auto, so that's definitely exciting. Also, they released Android TV. This was also pretty anticipated. They have a grid-like UI with your apps, movies, TV shows, and even games. You can plug in a controller and play Android games on a humongous screen. That is going to be pretty exciting. So you have all your Google Play TV movies, apps, you can search for things, you can, uh, of course, it's voice activated as well. You can control it using your phone, as he did using his Red Nexus 5, but you can also use your Android uh, watch, for example, your LG G watch, to control the TV. They searched for Jennifer Lawrence, as in Who Plays Katniss in The Hunger Games, voice activated, and it just told them, just like Google Now does. Everything is Google on this, of course. Um... So then again, another screenshot of Android TV, the movies app. They just took Android, they took the Android app and made it better. And the last thing I want to touch is continuity, very similar to what Apple did. Is um, they pretty much said if you get a call or text on your phone, it will show up on your Chromebook. And similarly, to my excitement, you can now run the native Android apps on your Chromebook. This is going to be huge because Chromebooks lack apps and functionality right now. And so they're just, they're just trying to merge Google Chrome and Android this, this year at I.O., the keynote at least. There's a lot more to stay tuned to this channel for more Google I.O. 2014 coverage. I try to get this video as soon as I can for you guys, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, stay tuned for more coverage by clicking that subscribe button. I'll see you later.